This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Some low-cost dormitory-style housing is one step closer to becoming a reality in Reno. The latest step to address the housing crisis in the area tops Channel 2 News at 7 o'clock. Now, the city of Reno approved a staff report to move forward with a new affordable housing project just this afternoon. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here with us tonight. Chris Buckley is live on Sage Street, the future home of a dormitory style housing project. And Chris, this is something that's been moving the approval process. It's been pretty quick, right? And that's right, they've made a lot of progress in the past few months. That's because they're running up against the deadline here. Now, the 192 modular units that will go in this lot behind me are set to be shipped from Wyoming next month. The buildings are going to come rolling in on nine trucks on August 15th. That's the date. And that will be the first of six trips that will transport these modular units through mid-October. They should be ready to go by the end of that month. Now, because crews found a number of underground tanks on this property, only the utilities will be going underground. The buildings will go on slab foundations. Because this site is right next to the train tracks, developers are building a 12-foot concrete sound barrier wall, as well as fencing and landscaping to help with that noise. The proposal is for the Volunteers of America to run the project and make these units available to those that earn less than 60% of the area median income. It's not a project for the homeless. I hope if somebody makes uh, 875 an hour full time, they can afford to live there. If somebody makes $15 an hour and is working about half time, they could afford to move in. Now there is a little bit of a sense of urgency with this project because the utilities, a lot of them have to be here before those units can be shipped and go in. So Mayor Hillary Sheevy said today that at this point, the city doesn't have the luxury to wait on affordable housing projects such as this one because there is such a need in this community right now. Covering the story live in Reno, Chris Buckley, Channel 2 News. All right, Chris, thanks for that update.